Did you know that you can have complete access to stories, pictures, and the Crescent News e-edition at crescentnews.com for just $7 a month? Become an online subscriber to crescentnews.com by calling me, Abby, at 419-784-5441, extension 233, or visiting the Crescent News online subscribe section on the top right-hand corner of our homepage. And remember, Crescent News print subscribers, you have complete access at crescentnews.com for no additional charge. You can't turn the ball over seven times against a team like that, and you know that, that's what happened. And uh, you know we turned the ball over five times. We're still down by one score at halftime. You know we were we were pretty optimistic. Um, but you know it, you gotta you gotta take care of your business, and and uh, that's a good team. You know when they they smell blood in the water, they're they're gonna come get it, and you know hopefully they can go on and do some big things in the playoffs here. Went three and out in that in that process right right at the get go and and we had talked about that right during that five to six to eight minute mark where were we going to be and and we deferred and and forced them to punt you know and I'm not sure what all happened after that but uh, I thought we held our own and and then the game settled in. I mean, they came out. They came out ready to play. They definitely wanted it. They came out. I mean, I, I give them good credit. They, I mean, they hit hard. They're always, they're always right there with us. I mean, they shut us offense down sometimes, and we shut them all down. I mean, it just went back and forth. It was a clash the whole first half, and we just came out on top at the end. We got a momentum shift, and we just ran with it. We just have to take one week at a time, and we really focus on the little things and staying mentally tough, and definitely staying mentally tough in the game. And that's what our team is really good at, is staying mentally tough and playing the game.